Hello everyone and welcome back to Vlogmail. This time for the month of July 2020, there is... A lot. There's a lot. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of mail. So we're gonna dive right into it, starting with our featured leather, which is from... Amelia in Sacramento, California. And Mal was like, don't look at it. Wait until you, you get your first reaction on camera. And I was like, okay. Horses. Oh, oh, is it? Pull it all the way out. Oh, the leather's in here. Oh, it says horses. Look at this, a little three-dimensional horse. Look at that little horse. Horses don't typically make that specific noise because a most- Paper rustling? Most horses aren't made of paper. Some? That one? Some are. They'll watch out for those horses. But these ones, look at that. That's so cute. I don't know how they, this is magic. Three-dimensional cards are magic. I don't understand how you would even start to construct them. Wild. Anyway, the uh, the leather, oh my God, it's on both sides. Horses, 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 horses. And then it also, there's a little nay at the bottom. Nay! From uh, Amelia or Alxame. Amelia, thank you. I think that we have set the tone correctly for this mail video. Let's get started. Our first package is from Jacket K. And inside, oh my goodness, look at this. It's a little reindeer. It's like a it's like a Christmas ornament. Do you know what that is? Oh my god, it it's It's Cindy. It's, it's Skin Dog. Yeah. Sorry. Skin Dog is Cindy's street name. Yes, it is Cindy. When you were like Reindeer. I'm like, I don't the think first you thought, recognize the first that. Thought, well, I we removed a part from Skin Dog, and I still remember Skin Dog with that part, and without that part, I don't recognize Skin Dog as well. Yes, that's Cindy. Also, please don't send us any art uh, of Skin Dog before <laughs> before we had a chance to alter the settings. Don't think YouTube would like that very much. Uh, there's also Peggy. And these are Christmas ornaments. That's why they're they're decorated in Christmas decor. It's Christmas in July. Oh my God! It's Christmas in July. That which might be what that says. In fact, it does. Dear Stephen Amal, good morning and happy Christmas in July, or in whatever month of your choice. I wanted to include more than I did with this package, but July has been a busy month for me. Got a project for a bunch of people I watch going on to make up for not being able to go to Com Bravo and give things in person this year. It's sad because it's the one convention I go to every year, so it's become a way to reset my state of mind to a more positive one. So hopefully this project will help me achieve a similar feeling. So hopefully I can give you all a proper celebration once that project is done. Still wanted to make an attempt to share something for July, even if I don't make it to the post office in time for the July vlog mail. For one, I wanted to help build up your Skylander collection with a couple more customized figures. The uh, odd fuzzball one with guns. The odd the odd fuzzball with guns is trigger happy, with the hat being based on an in-game customization. And then the, uh, let me open this one up. There we go. The, uh, the Kuribo shoe is actually a boot in-game. I believe it functions as a speed power-up. I think everything I've sent so far is a green base, which means they will work in any game in the series. So between this and the figures I sent last year, the series should at least be playable in Extra Life, just in case someone gets the urge to donate to them. You also find a little surprise from the channel's pseudo mascot tucked away. I typically call them charms when I make my art in this format, but most because I don't know what else to call them. I they look they're little Christmas ornaments, but charms will work. Um, they're a little bigger than I typically print them, but I think you could still use them as such. They could work as tree ornaments, bookmarks, or anything else you want to wrap them around. As long as you enjoy them, I'm happy. Thanks again for all the wonderful content, and maybe someday when the world is more normal, we can meet in person at Com Bravo or at another convention from Jack and Kay. Well, Jack, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, it's one of the things I, you know, there's so many things about the Wii library that I sometimes forget that Skylanders is a part of that. Because I'm thinking about like Just Dance and DJ Hero and that 120 Hawk game that has a physical skateboard that we still don't have. I should probably figure that out. So then I tend to forget about Skylanders. Skylanders. Mm -hmm. But I appreciate you uh, making sure that we do have some. So, Jacket, thanks. Our next package is from Denise in Spanish Fort, Utah. Oh, this is cool. Oh, cool. It's like a Sheikah slate. 
fuck is that? But it's like a, it's like a moleskin. A moleskin Sheikah Slate. All right, let me read this. This says, Dear Steven, I used to be a regular subscriber to Loot Crate, and a while back they sent me this object in one of my crates. I had no idea what it represented, so I just put it in a drawer and forgot about it. Then, when you started playing Zelda Breath of the Wild, I recognized it. Yes, I'm watching you on Twitch. They're not live. This time is not, the, the time is not good for me, so I watch it the next day. Anyway, I thought you might like this notepad. Maybe take notes about your gameplay because you can't seem to remember what you <laughs> did a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> also, as you suggested, I went and found your playthrough of Halo and Gears of War. Unfortunately, I cannot watch them. Split screens make me car sick. Dang. Aw. I'm sorry about that. Maybe you can, like, just tape off half the television. Maybe not. Maybe that doesn't work as well as I'd, I'd hope. Well, Denise, thank you. I appreciate it. And we, we loved the, the letter you, that you had sent before. And this is really super neat. That's really cool. And also, I'm at least in the same boat that before Breath of the Wild, I would have never recognized this. Like, I started to see it on products, mm -hmm. but I was like, what does this mean? One of our friends has it as a Switch skin. And I was like, I have no idea yeah. what that is. And they're like, it's Zelda. And I'm like, not any I've played. <laughs> um, also, I'm, I'm glad to hear that you're liking Breath of the Wild because, you know, the, the style of game is not for everyone, but I really like it. So I'm glad that you have something else to, uh, to watch. This is neat. Maybe, maybe it will help me remember more about what's going on. Our next package is from Lucas in Stout, Ohio. You okay? Sorry, I'm figuring it out. It's a puzzle. There we go. Uh, oh, it's, it's probably the first of, I'm gonna guess a few. Wii games that'll be in uh, in this video. This is Guitar Hero Smash Hits. Uh, folks are trying to help us complete the uh, the Wii collection in time for Extra Life, and uh, we sincerely appreciate it. No pun intended. Um, both of us appreciate it. And uh, yeah, there's I there's some other stuff that is shaped like this, so I have a feeling that we'll see more of this. But Lucas, we appreciate it. Our next package is from Sal in Corrales. Corrales? Cor Corrales, New Mexico? Corrales. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but one of those two ways. Um, oh, hold on. It, there it goes. I got it out. Uh, oh, there's there are some more Wii games in here. And there is a note. Note says, Hi, Stephen Mao. First off, really want to thank both of you as your content has been one of the top things to help get me through all of this mentally. In addition to everything going on in the world, I have recently lost my childhood pet of 12 years to leg cancer. Series like Yoshi's Island and the vlog showing how life has started to go to a better state since your similar experience with Sagan have really helped me in finding some good in these times. While I'm writing this, my grandma lives in Myrtle Beach. We were going to head over there in order to help her move out, uh, out here, and while there, I was gonna get a game for Player's Choice to send in. Unfortunately, today, we learned her pancreatic cancer has reached stage four, so we are just sending my dad to drive her here so she can have as much time with us as possible. I'm now going into my senior year pursuing a degree in digital media this fall. At this point, I do not know what the future holds for me, but I'm hopeful. As more comes at me, I am sure I will turn to your videos, maybe even rewatch Twilight Princess and Ocarina of Time, as seeing you both work off each other is a light that will certainly be needed. Signing off, Sal, aka SM Fluffy. Well, Sal, it sounds like this year has not been kind to you. And I'm sorry about that. Um, I, to some degree, it has not been kind to anyone, but definitely there's certain people that it really feels like the thumb of 2020 is pushing hard. I'm glad that we can help in some way, however small, and uh, I sincerely hope that the year gets better for both of us. And, uh, you know, that, I mean, you're going into your senior year. Like, I hope that that goes well. Let's all wish for the best. In the meantime, I appreciate you sending stuff in to help with Extra Life, and there are two games in here. Let's pull these out. <laughs> Fun fact, if I'm not mistaken, there's actually more than one of these Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader games. But this is Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader uh, game, game time. time. Yes, 
this, I guess the show was so popular at the time, I can't quite remember, that they made multiple different Wii games, but this is game time. And then also, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Wheelie Breakers. And as someone who's not familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh!, that name sounds wild. 5Ds? Super confusing. Like Yu-Gi-Oh!, sure. But then five, what is the five Ds? And then wheelie breakers, so it's like about motorcycles or something. Oh my God, is this a racing game? It actually does look like a racing game. But there's cards to but compete there's, with. This is like a card game, racing game hybrid, and that's wild to me. Anyway, Sal, again, thank you. Next up, we have a package from Amazon. And we'll see if there's a... Uh, a gift note. It looks like there is. Oh. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> you know it's going to be a good one when it starts with the word. Horses. Horses, 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 with more horses in coming. You will get an all-elite wrestling shirt from this particular gang member at some point. It's in the mail. Horses. From High Heel Gang Member. I'm sorry, what? When, when Toss Stay, 3D Illusion Lamp. A simple but interesting nightlight and cool gift. I gotta see this. It's a horse? I, I gotta see this. We'll open it up. Oh, it's one of these. I see. So, I don't. So this is the light. Okay. And there's a power button right there on top. Okay. And it comes with an AC adapter. Okay. And this goes on that. So it's like oh. kind of fiber optic in a way. And then it sh the LEDs yeah. give the illusion of depth. Yes. Well, it oh. lights up the lines. Yeah. So all the lines will glow whatever color it is. Oh. That's interesting. Man, we don't even know. We just know that this is from the High Heel Gang. Was it the was it the last mail month that all the the horse stuff was? I think so. So this is just like carry continuation of it, yeah. Like most people say horses four times. High heel gang said no. We will say horses five times. And as a result, there's there's still more horse stuff here. More horse. Stuff. I had no idea there was more horse stuff arriving, but you know. I mean, we didn't know it was arriving in the first place. No, no, but man, there's there's so much horses. Anyway, to, to the entire gang, thank you. And apparently there's a there's a wrestling shirt? Is that what that said? I don't know. I wonder if the wrestler has anything to do with horses. Next up, we have a package from Amazon. How is opening that in the air bin? It was, uh, it was different, but I did it. This. Oh! I mean, this is good advice. As soon as I opened it, it says, how not to die? And I was like, oh, good, I've been really, I mean, I've been doing pretty good on my own for 31 years, but like having having it written down would probably help. The Discover the food scientifically proven to prevent reverse disease, featuring Dr. Greger's Daily Dozen, what to eat to add years to your life. And this is from, uh, here we go. Uh, Dear Stephen Mallory, Sending in hopes you may be open to new ideas about how and what you eat. Wishing you the best. P.S. We met PAX Prime Meetup 2015. Gave you the Black Majora's Mask bag. I remember that! Oh, yeah! Bree from Bree. Well, thank you, Bree. How not to die? <laughs> I, I do have to admit. Personally, personal favorite thing, not dying. Not dying. Been actually at the top of my list for a long time now. So, uh... I, I appreciate <laughs> further instruction. I also like uh, how it's got leafy greens on it because uh, we literally ate spinach for dinner. Well, yeah, that was part of it. If yeah. we ate just spinach for dinner, you'd have to eat a lot of spinach. You'd have to eat a lot of spinach. You would have to eat a ton of spinach. Yeah, I don't think I could eat that much. No, spinach. I don't think you could either. But could I eat it as a side? Yeah, and I did. Our next package is from Matthew in Kitchener, Ontario. This says, uh, to Stephen and Mallory, it's been a while since I sent you some Canadian goodies. 
And since Canada Day just happened, as of the day I'm writing this, I'm sending you two uh, very different things from two very different parts of Canada that I happened to discover during the pandemic as the precautions that grocery stores were taking forced me to shop at places that were not as restrictive as others. First, I'm giving you two something sweet from the East. The pandemic gave me an opportunity to do my grocery shopping closer to work as opposed to closer to home. That's how I came across a brand of cookies from Quebec that I had never heard of before called Leclerc. Uh, I tried some of their cookies and was very impressed. Not only are the cookies good, but so is the image on the cookies too. Dan can show a picture of the image featured on these cookies, which should be appearing right now. Dan, at home. What? <laughs> what? Uh, uh, Google, search cookie image, image, image cookie. Ah! So the image on the cookie is like a little castle. So what we will, uh, so I'll just be like, Dan, enhance. <laughs> Zoom, enhance. Um, so it's a little castle. It's an image of the Chateau Frontenac, the most famous building in Quebec City and the most famous of its kind in all of Canada. It certainly adds a charm to these cookies and it should also give you more inspiration to do a Canadian road trip someday. I mean, for what it's worth, I want to see more of Canada. some point. I, I, I hate I hate talking about travel in 2020 because I can't, so I'm just like, well, you know. Large sigh. Second, something savory from the West. I came across these in a separate store, which also houses a Tim Hortons and a Domino's Pizza. Yeah, they exist in Canada. I had only tried beef jerky once before, and it was a long time ago, so I was surprised when I discovered that there was a Canadian brand known as McSweeney's, which comes from Alberta, home of the best beef in Canada. I tried some of their jerky, and it was really good. They also really emphasized their Canadian identity with Canadian images on their packaging that would make the people at Jones Soda proud. They even have a very Canadian uh, flavor inspired by, by one of my favorite Canadian foods, Montreal smoked meat. Dan can put up a graphic explaining what that is, too. Dan's like, I, how do I explain? <laughs> Here, hold on. Let me. So, Montreal steak spice. McSweeney's, proudly Canadian. You know they're proudly Canadian because they literally write proudly Canadian. If you ever doubted McSweeney's uh, heritage and pride, it's written on the packaging. Uh, this is actually really, it's a really interesting box because the box uh, basically consists of cookies and beef jerky, which is simple, but it's loaded with cookies and beef jerky. And also we love both cookies and beef jerky. These are raspberry. Um. Well, you're which is my preferred choice with Mal loves raspberry stuff. Well, there's there's actually more stuff in here. Let with me let me let and... me finish reading this. So making Dan uh, doing my bidding aside, I'll, I have something else in mind that I want to send, but I need to wait until I can obtain it. But once I do, I'll send it your way. Enjoy your Canadian snacks and happy Canada Day. Respectfully yours, Matthew Griffin. Well, Matthew, thank you and um, happy Canada Day. I mean, I this is going to be I guess a little bit late from when Canada Day was, but happy belated Canada Day. Canada does have, um, I mean, we've seen it time and time again, Canada's got a lot of snacks. So we have the raspberry truffle cookies and the Montreal steak jerky. However, hold on. There's also s'more style Ooh, truffle so cookies. Oh, and those are limited edition? Mint truffle. Oh, they're nouveau. Caramel truffle love caramel and oh it says use these as Ooh. s'mores Ooh. no no look at this oh that's cool that's a really is that cool on the idea. english side too yeah and then also chocolate noir, uh, dark chocolate sorry went into french mode for a moment so those are the uh the cookies those are the cookie those all sound great i know and i'm going what to good eat choices them. i'm going to eat so many of them not all of them I'm not gonna eat them in a way that would prevent you from eating them. I'm just going to eat them too. Anyway, uh, there's also, so we saw the Montreal steak spice. This is habanero and original, because there has to be an original. Uh, teriyaki, that's nice. And hot and sweet, that's a good one. That's uh that that's a pretty fantastic box. Yeah. I'm 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 not gonna lie. I'm pretty excited about the prospect of both cookies and jerky. 
and uh, am looking forward to consuming both. But maybe just real quick. Just real quick. Just, oh my god, they're lovely. Oh my god. These are large cookies. They are large cookies, and I'm I'm little, here for it. These, building this, on them? This is the dark chocolate one. Yeah, I'm holding the building upside down. Mmm. Ma'am. You know what I need? Like a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Just sit there and enjoy a few. Mm -hmm. Not the whole pack. Although you could. You could. Yes, I could. Is that a challenge? Are you challenging me? Because just give me like a few minutes and I'll just wipe this entire pack out. I'm more than capable. Anyway, Matthew, as always, thank you for sending the, uh, the goodies our way. I'm really looking forward to trying all the truffle stuff in the the jerky as well, but I had to at least try something, so I went with uh, I went with these, and this was a good choice. Our next package is from Sarah in the UK. Um, one moment. Aha! There we go. All right. So, right on top says note from Sarah Fails. This is super cute. Oh wow. Oh my it's goodness. It's cross-stitched. It's a cross-stitched note. That's really cool. It's really neat. On the back it says, the world of cross-stitching. Indeed. To Stephen Amell, hi. Here are some crocheted bunnies, toast, potion bottle, knitted cupcakes, bookmark, washi tape, and some treats for both of you to enjoy. I hope you will share the bunnies with friends and family. Please do so when it feels safe for you to do. Also, please keep up your amazing work as well as Kepi working his hardest to keep spirits high for his loving parents. Enjoy the gifts from Sarah. Well, sir, thank you. That was super sweet. This card's amazing. Uh, all right, there's- Ooh, There's another cross stitch. Oh my goodness. It, well, it is a, it, uh, bookmark. a bookmark. Wild at heart. They're so cute. I've done a little cross stitching, so I'm super interested. Oh my God, look at these bunnies. Oh, so good. Look at these. Okay, let me show off the, there, there's some treats here on top. So there's Cadbury Dark Milk, Salted Caramel, ooh, and then Cadbury Dark Milk Original. Hmm, me and you, later. <laughs> um, and then also, oh, I thought, I read this. Did you I read it? it? Did you read it the same way? <laughs> just read, I'm not gonna say, I'm just gonna turn this to the camera and see what they see. Look, look what this is. Jelly Toots. I looked at it and I was like, jelly toots. And then my brain was like, toots? And then I reread it and was like, tots. But I think because the thing has eyes, it was like two O's. And I was like, jelly toots. Which is a fine name for a product if someone were to so choose. Love them. Interesting. I'm really curious what those are like. We've been passionate about making sweets, bursting with irresistible flavor. They look kind of like Skittles. They do look like, they look like sour Skittles yes. is what they look like. All right. These are resealable. Peel and reclose me for later. Okay, well It's like a sticker. Yeah, I see. Sorry, it's really important that I understand what these taste like because I need to know. Hmm. They look like dots. You know the dots? Oh yeah, I love dots. Okay, they look like dots, but they're covered in what I would assume is sour. Sour or sugar? Sugar. Sugar? Sugar. So when I was a kid, my dad loved dots, and mm -hmm. we would go to a movie theater and get dots, but we wouldn't finish them during the movie. On the way home, we would eat them in the dark of the car, and we'd have to guess what flavor it was. So it turned into an activity. Mm -hmm. And when you picked up dots, did you ever pick up any toots? I guess not. All right, so let's take a look at um, the other stuff in here. Oh, it's the little potion bottle. Look at that. Look how tiny the stitches are. Those are some tiny stitches. It's very, very cute. And... It's a toast. It's a little toast. It's a little toast, I love it. Thank you, Sarah. And then, 
Oh, hold on. I, I want to get. I want to do the bunnies as the very last thing because you don't understand how many bunnies are in this box. You just don't. Look at these little cupcakes. They're little cupcakes. God, they're so cute. And as Mouse said, like the stitching on all this is extremely small. And then, of course, there is also there is also some washi tape. And now. The bunnies. Oh, bunny washi tape. I mean, and thematically, thematically, it does work. It's really cute. Okay, are you ready for the bunnies? Just put in, put in your mind like a number. This is a, this is one of the, one of the bunnies. They're all the same size. Just put in your mind. How many bunnies? Yes, how be many spot? bunnies? So many bunnies. Just a little guess. Okay, now let's move on. Bunny. 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 A bunny. Another bunny. A little multicolored pastel bunny. So four bunnies, five bunnies. How about six bunnies? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. No, seven bunnies. There were in fact eight bunnies. Help. Kidding! There were nine bunnies. That's so many bunnies. Help. I just lay that one on top. Oh, he's crowd surfing. <laughs> that's um, that's incredible. Like there's so many bunnies here. Um. Because when Sarah said give them to friends and family, I was like, well, how many are there? And I opened it up and I'm like, oh! Bunnies! There's quite a few! Look at them all. They're very, very cute. Sarah, thank you. It was very sweet, and uh, I really enjoyed um, tasting a toot. Just get an idea. <laughs> Never seen those before. That's new. That's completely new. And uh, all of the other stuff is just beautiful and wonderful as well. Look at these guys. Bunnies. There are a lot of bunnies. Our next package is from Michaela in Auckland, New Zealand. Right on top. We have a letter. It says, Dear Stephen, Mal, and Kepler, I hope this letter finds you well. I'm sending this on July 3rd, 2020 from New Zealand, so it'll be interesting to see when it arrives to you, given the state of the world right now. I know it's been a few months, but I would like to offer my condolences to you all for Sagan. My sweet dog, Cody, um, uh, who is... A nearly 13-year-old border collie also crossed the Rainbow Bridge on February 22nd. He had diabetes and had lived a good life, and it was simply his time. I grieved alongside you both, and the vlogs provided me with comfort because I could and can relate to you in the situation, so thank you. Now, on to the parcel. Now, New Zealand doesn't have many Kit Kat flavors different to what you have already received, mainly from Australia. So instead, I've sent you one I know you haven't tried, as well as New Zealand's own chocolate brand, uh, Whitaker's. Is that Whitaker's? Whitaker's, yeah. Uh, the two larger blocks, creamy milk and creamy caramel, are easily the best blocks of chocolate I've ever tried. Trust me, you'll love them. The three smaller blocks are artisan flavors, which include ingredients from different regions of our country, and I hope you enjoy them. All right, so let me start pulling this out. Oh, snap. <laughs> what? Kit Kat Gold. Is it a credit card? No, it's a candy bar. Golden white chocolate for a deliciously caramelized break. We have not had this one, and I've never heard of this, so this is, that's completely new. Oh man, sorry, there's some stuff in here. There's some stuff in here that I recognize and love. Uh, these are big chocolate, these are so Those heavy. Are massive. It's a quarter of a kilogram, 250 grams. They're heavy, they're really heavy. There's a creamy milk chocolate bar. Creamy caramel, oh my god. <sighs> Breathe, Steven. Um, cream of caramel, and then the artisan flavors. Uh, Whitaker's Marlboro Sea Salt and Caramel, oh my god. That sounds great. Now this one sounds really interesting. Uh, Fijian ginger and Kerry Kerry mandarin and dark chocolate. That sounds good. So ginger and mandarin and dark chocolate, that sounds really good. And then, oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Wellington Roasted Supreme Coffee Dark Chocolate, yes! Oh, I want that. I mean, I have it in my hand, but like, oh man, I'm really excited about that. Would it be too much to have this with a cup of coffee? Debatable. I better do the science on it, and I plan to. Um, there's other stuff I've seen I'm really excited about them. Anyway, I've also included another pack of the pineapple lumps, last sent in 2014, and some Tim Tams. Share them with Dan. I will, I will, because Dan is editing this, and he will he will come to my door and attack lumps. me. So yeah, the pineapple lumps, those really good. good. Yeah, and I believe we shared these with friends and they really liked them too. Um, 
Oh my god. So not only is there the, the chewy caramel Tim Tams, but then this is a family pack. Yeah, a family of one. One Steven. Oh, I love Tim Tams. But I promise, I promise to share with Dan. Because Dan also loves Tim Tams. Um, when, <laughs> whenever folks send in uh, like candy and chocolates and stuff, we very often share with, uh, I mean, well, in the before times, we would share with everyone when they came over. But then the current times, we're, we're splitting stuff up a little bit and sharing it with Dan and Lindsay. Because uh, we have to transfer a drive, so we just put candy and we do. The drive in a bag, and we're like, there you go. Yeah, drive exchange day is a pretty good day, I think, for Dan. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, hey, could you edit this mail video? And then also, here's some chocolate. So, it tends to work out. Anyway, this is uh, this is wonderful. I need to flip this leather over. Um, I hope you enjoy the chocolate-themed parcel. Don't eat it all at once. <laughs> Fine. Well wishes to you all from Michaela. AKA uh, Michaela JW underscore on Twitter. P.S. Freeze the pineapple lumps. Ooh, I bet that's good. Ooh. I like how you think. Especially because I, I, I've only ever had these one other time, so I wouldn't have known to have done that, but that's, that's a good idea. This is all wonderful. And I love snacks. I love snacks. As we, as we proceed through hurricane season, there is always that chance that we could be without power or something and we'll just be like snacking. And like, it's nice to have this stuff around. Yeah. Will I, is there a high probability that I'll eat it well before that happens? I, yeah, we can't say for certain. Maybe. Michaela, thank you. Next is a package from Amazon. Oh no, you ripped <laughs> the gift note. The gift note was shoved up in the thing. It's all right, I can still read it. Uh, let's see here. Here we go, this is from uh, Daniel, aka DannyX6 from Twitch. Uh, got this idea from another streamer, but it's for wearing during your high P trains, provided you're not recording an LP episode and if you want to. Love you both and thanks for years of joy. From Daniel, aka DannyX6. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's the classic conductor's hat. Oh, I have a large head. <laughs> like, I know I have a large head, but sometimes whenever I go to, to put something on like that, I'm reminded. You also have a lot of hair. I do have a lot of hair, there we go. Oh man, I'm really reminded of the hair I have once I, look at that. Oh, the hair is in my <laughs> eyeballs. And I don't mean that figuratively, I mean, I can feel the individual hairs of, uh, strands of hair jutting into my eyeballs. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of do one of these right here. That's better. All right. All right, everyone. Get out your umbrellas. Because it's the high P train. Listen, it's a little gross, but it's still cute. <laughs> you have so much hair. I have a lot of hair. I have a lot of, I kind of look like I belong in the village people. But in their defense, it is fun to stay at the YMCA. This really emphasizes the hair I have on my head because it forces it all down. It's fine. Wow, that It fits hat, me so much better, oh my god. That is almost big on you. Actually, that's as tight as it can go. Yeah. It's fun to stay on the... H I G H P E E. Doesn't have the same ring to it. Danny, thank you. This is cute. <laughs> this is cute, and I will. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm Leave gonna. Leave this right here for Friday. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna stash this, so if it happens, I can. It can be ready. Our next package is from Thomas in Glendale, Arizona. Oh, don't hurt yourself. Get in there, tape or uh, anti-tape. This is anti-tape. Cutter? Yeah, knife. Blade. Mm, I've chosen anti-tape. Oh, there are, there are things in here. There's also a leather, so let's, uh, let's start with that, shall we? Leather says... Hello, Stephen Amell. 
My name is Thomas, but I go either by Tom or Jay. Jay's because my YouTube channel is jfeatherfan12312. I've been a big fan of everything you make for a few years now. I found you when I was much younger and seeing the face of a YouTuber seemed like some unattainable taboo, but then I saw your chug of vlogs. I do wish I could say that I'd found you in a different way, but alas, I cannot. It did take a bit for me to get into your videos after I found you, but eventually I did. I always wanted to take the journey, but at the time I was in high school and just didn't have the time, so I started uh, following the current stuff. I also used your two-hour fan gamer vlogs to successfully procrastinate on homework one day for entirely too long, as high schoolers do. About a year ago, I decided that since I watch videos while I work every day, I would just take the journey, and it took me quite a while. I started in June 2019, and I caught up on the same day that you uploaded the second vlog. I know it's been a while, and I apologize for bringing it up again, but I'd like to offer you my condolences. In early 2016, my family moved back to Arizona from Washington State, but I moved to the other side of Washington to be with my then-girlfriend, now fiancé. A little over a month after I moved, I received a text from my dad that told me that my cat, who, was, who I wasn't able to take with me, had gotten out and the coyotes that lived around here got to him. It took me quite a while to get over that, and occasionally it still comes back to me. I'm sorry I just had to get that out. No worries. No worries. If anything, and one of the reasons I wanted to share our experiences with the loss of Sagan is that I felt like it would help folks. I help, like, help them, you know, cope with things and help them understand that loss is okay. And I'm glad that we've been able to do that for other people. And, you know, if it brings back bad memories for anyone else, like yourself, like, I apologize for that. But also, I'm glad that it helps people work through things, I suppose. Loss sucks, losing cats sucks, and I could go on about that for a long time. Okay, and now on to the package. The other envelope included is a save the date for my wedding in 2021. I've uh, seen you guys receive these before. I figured that since we had just gotten ours and are about to hand them out, that I would give one to you guys. It'll be in Spokane, Washington, so unless we happen to get lucky and you're in the area for one reason or another, I don't expect you to show up, but I thought it was a nice gesture to send it to you guys. Also included are some games that as of this time uh, was sent you do not have. Four Wii games, three PS2 games, two PS3 games-ish, an Xbox 360 game and a DS game. Three of the Wii games I scattered from my local game store, and the rest of the games were games that I had and no longer needed. Aside from the DS game, due to the powers of idiocy, I managed to have a duplicate. Also sending a Mario-themed mug that we were planning to donate, and a Wii Zelda shield accessory, because I thought it would be cool to have. Thank you both for being awesome people and creating amazing content for all of us to enjoy. One day I hope to be able to buy the original canvas for one of Mal's paintings. Alas, my wallet says otherwise. I hope you two have a wonderful day. Enjoy what you uh, what I've given you, and love on Kepi, because that is always important. Thanks for reading from Thomas, a.k.a. Jay. Thomas, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to take a look at your save date. And uh, people do send us these. We have not, up to this point, been able to... Um, also, that's so cute. That's really cool. That's really cool. Look at this. That's really cool. It's like, is it a magnet? It is. It's a, oh, because you remember, because you put on the... I like it. Anyway, that's, it's uh what do you call it when it's... Wood? Yes. <laughs> what do you call it when it's from a tree? Wood. Is it like Wood. laser burned? Yeah, it's uh like laser burned. Neat. I really like that. That's a really cool idea. Also, like inadvertently, you've given a bunch of other couples ideas because they're watching this and they're like, hmm, like that, write that down. But I've never seen that before, so that's really neat. I mean, you were saying that we haven't been able to go to any so far. Correct. So, I mean, it's not... I mean, we're hoping someday to surprise someone. We but... we talk about that. Yeah. We're like, it would be so freaking fun. They invite us to the wedding and they don't know. And then we're like, haha, we're here. It hasn't worked out yet. But one day, one day, we would like to do that. Not sure when. At some point. Um, in the meantime... Uh, sorcery, Aqua Aqua, the addictive fast action 3D puzzler. I wanted to rent this. Aqua Aqua, save the, uh, actual Aqua. family video. That's I the, never got to. That's the style of cover that would, I think, keep a lot of people away. But that's the style of game that would you would be like, that's the thing. But some of those games that look really strange, have weird cover art, are some of the most interesting games there are. Yeah. So. Uh, Mario Hoops 3 on 3! I've never heard of that. That's the, uh... Oh wait, no, that's not the one that the Diddy Kong shirt I have is from. That's from the Wii version. But the, there's a, a DS basketball game. Um, <laughs> Minute to win it! Zoo game! 
Oh snap, Chuck E. Cheese is part of games! Oh my god! It's real! It's real. The Chuck E. Cheese games have been hard to find. Yeah, they have. For whatever reason. Uh, seen it. All new movie clips and trivia. <laughs> AKA, a content ID nightmare. Uh, Sonic Unleashed! Oh snap. That's Faster where- Faster than ever. That is where Rooftop Run is from. I know. Half of that game is really good. Uh, Zoo Hospital! Is this a zoo game? Is it, are you, no, it's actually Majeska. <laughs> it's a disappointing. Uh, Cameo Elements Power. A uh, rare game that is often forgotten about. Uh, oh, that's really cool. Xbox Live Arcade Unplugged. Neat. It's got... Hit games like Geometry Wars. How many games are on this? Uh, Bejeweled 2, Geometry Wars. Uh, Wick Fable of Souls. Backgammon. Outpost Coloki X. I don't know what that is. And Texas Hold'em. And then... There's also a PS3 uh, PS3 Move demo disc, and then of course. Wow! Look what's on this. Oh my God! It has a demo for the Unfinished Swan. It might be Alien Crisis. That's really interesting. Unfinished Swan is probably the most interesting one on this. Yeah, I wonder what part of the game they let you play, because if it's the beginning, everyone would get sick, and then they wouldn't buy the game. Yeah. Anyway. So here's that, uh, here's that shield. It's very, very cool. And also now I, I better understand the little dragon insignia, because this is uh, very specifically a breath of... You know what this reminds me of? Huh. It reminds me of like a, a tool that kids would take to um, the beach and do like imprints. It looks, yeah, like that. It also kind of just looks like a, a trowel. <laughs> but not flat. No, you wouldn't want a trowel with this. But not flat. Uh, this is cool. This is a uh, Super Mario mug. A little question block. And two more games in here. Gran Turismo 3, a spec. And Thrillville Off the Rails, Frontier game. Hmm. No Frontier made that. Neat. Now with over the top whoa coasters. Not just any roller coasters. Whoa, whoa coasters. coasters. Whoa coasters. Um, Thomas, thank you. Sincerely appreciate you uh, sending all this this stuff in. And again, this is cute. I mean, I already got married, so I don't got any dates to save. But if I was gonna, this is something I would keep in mind because I really like this. Our next package is from Rebecca and Yakima, Washington. 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 It did start with a W, though. Yeah. There's a note right on top, and it says, uh, "Dear Stephen Amell." Been a fan of yours for a few years. I found you through Chugga Conroy, and I stuck around because you're cool. I've been struggling with uh, autism and anxiety for years, but only got diagnosed two years ago because we had no idea. My mom had an idea when I was going between high school and college. I was homeschooled my whole life, and I went to college online, so that's why we had no idea. I've tried therapy and medication, but neither of them worked out. I'm doing just fine, even though emotions are hard to control. You guys light up my day when I need it, so thank you. Please enjoy this uh, bead design, blue rupee, and flower pressing. Uh, if you're not too into flowers, you can find someone else to give them to. Thanks again from Rebecca, AKA Becky Star. Well, thank you, Becky. Or Becky Star. Hold on. There I go, I got it. Hmm. <clears throat> I do believe that you just got a blue rupee. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Blue rupee! There you are. So there's blue rupee there, and then there's also a, a pressed flower kit, and it comes in this little box, and it's it's all of the stuff to do a flower pressing. A flower pressing, which I I remember doing when I was when I was much younger. Sorry, I should probably hold it up so you all can see it. It's like the like the wood, and then you like tighten it down. And there's like little pieces of cardboard and little pieces of paper. And then there's this little book that tells you how to do it. And when I say little book, I mean a little book. It's a tiny book. Especially when my hands are this large, I'm like, I'm a giant. Here, here's a pen. Oh yeah, a pen for scale. It's a tiny book. Anyway, Rebecca, thank you. It's very, very sweet. We appreciate that. Next up, we have a package from eBay. Let's get this open. Not sure who this is from, because there is not a gift note, but if you sent this, 
first off, thank you. And then also, claim it in the comments. Be like, hey, I sent that. So I can be like, cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, we do have the, uh, we do have the tablet now. We do have the tablet. So, um, we can play. <laughs> Draw some artists featuring the Smurfs. Extra Life is gonna be so good, yeah. Mallory. It's gonna be so I good. Can't wait. It's gonna be so good. And there's so many games, and people are gonna be like, oh, we're not even gonna have a chance to play them all. And I'm like, that's okay, we'll do it again next year. There are so many, let's call them quality, quality titles on the Nintendo Wii. Our next package is from Chichester, Pennsylvania. Upper Chichester. Upper Chichester. I've never been there. I'm not sure how, how important that specific part is, but maybe. Like, we've got Myrtle Beach and North Myrtle Beach, and they're separate cities, so... I don't know. There could be a Chichester and an Upper Chichester. It's possible. So let's take a look at what's in here. There is... Oh! There are definitely some games here. And... Oh, there's a note, and it says, this is from Calvin. Uh, Dear Mal and Steven, I hope this package and leather reach you well. Enclosed are five Xbox games and one Xbox 360 game that I did not see in your collection spreadsheet. The games, Halo, Spider-Man, Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones, uh, have the disc manuals and case. For the Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay, and Portal 2, I only have the case and manual. And for Teenage Ninja Turtles, I only have the case and game. Hope that this fills up your game collection. Sincerely, Calvin, uh, AKA Fun Kirby on Twitter. Well, thank you, Calvin. And, move this stuff out of the way, just as promised, there are Spider-Man, Halo, I love this game. Like, I know we've already, like, let's play it, but it's just, I, this brings back a lot of memories for me. Uh, Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, not to be confused with TMNT, which is a completely different game, Portal 2, which is probably easily one of the best games ever made, and Chronicles of Riddick, which I've never played, but I've heard good things about. Or maybe that was the movie. Or maybe it was the game. I don't know. It has Vin Diesel on it. This is what <laughs> Vin Diesel was in one. It was one of the things that it was good. Anyway, I appreciate that. We don't get sent uh, a whole lot of uh, regular Xbox games, so I, uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you, Calvin. Our last package is from Ann and Crystal in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's also worth noting. On the outside of the box, it says, Package Tetris is fun, and... I like tape. I also like tape. All right, standard card. Birds! People forget that horses came after birds. Like not from like an evolutionary thing. I don't know, I'm not sure, but in terms of in terms of jokes. Dear Stephen O, yes, it's us again. So glad you liked the uh, mold-free certificate in our last box. It made us giggle and is always nice to know we weren't the only ones. Uh, here as usual is your Hobbit box. Uh, our birthdays in July. Our, our birthdays are in July. So we send you presents. <laughs> A smaller selection this time, but hey, quarantine. Not as easy to go out to the game store. Also, happy uh, slightly belated birthday. Slightly. Slightly. A little bit. Anyway, the first item is in celebration of the Disc Only podcast and its triumphant beginning. Here is your three-sided instrument, Grandpa. You know what to do. <laughs> Kep is on Mal's lap and there was a uh, immediate and sudden concern. What is that? What is that, bud? What is that? Can I smell? I promise I will not loudly ring it. I know that it will bring you, let's call it discomfort. I'll ring it when you're not around. Uh, we have uh, we have also added a secondary instrument, which can be yours or Emil's if he joins you for a guest slot. Oh, wait a minute. Three-sided oh. instrument is obviously not a cowbell. What three sides does a cowbell have? You cowbell. know that the sides one, two, and three. This is actually kind of exciting for me because I've never owned a triangle. And I'm, you know. Yeah, you have to hang it. This also causes Kepler great concern. Would you like to smell that? 
What is that? I don't know. Oh, oh okay. Do not okay. Like that. I was like, is that like I gotta get up to investigate this close or I need to go away? He says, I think I'm gonna vacation on the floor. <laughs> A three sided instrument, the cowbell. I'm a bright one. Um, could also be good for grandson Do Josh. We leave that up to you. We've also included a happily um, cynical little flip book. You took that out already. Oh, I did? Oh. It's over there. <laughs> Every flipping day. Unaffirmation sure to uninspire. Uh, let's see, for those moments when you just need to laugh. Certainly important in these crazy times. Underneath that is a card game that made us think of you. Gee, I wonder why. Is it is it poop? Is it the expansion to poop? <laughs> is it even more poop? For what it's worth, I do spend a lot of my, let's call it free time. Let's, let's call it investigating the bathroom. I investigate the bathroom, and I've been investigating the bathroom for a long time to make sure that it's up to code. So far, so good. Anyway, it's good for large groups when you put the packs together and seems like your type of humor. Please enjoy. Mal's probably been eyeing the washi tape. I have. There is a bunch of washi tape. I'll hand that to you. There's a cat one. Oh, there's a cat one. Ooh, uh, and it has the metal on it? It uh, came in one of Crystal's crafting packs and it was too cute not to share. And then at the bottom, uh, we were so sorry to hear about Sagan. It happened just a little while after we sent our last box and we used a fair number of tissues that week. There is an old tradition in American folklore that a uh, northern cardinal uh, means a loved a loved one who has passed on is watching over you. Anne wrote a poem about it for our church's service of remembrance last fall. That poem and some cardinal jewelry for both of you are enclosed. We hope that uh, we hope they they help with continuing healing. With many hugs and lots of thanks, Anne and Crystal. Well, thank you. Um, and in, in here we have, pull them out here. We got these cute little cardinal earrings, and then also this little cardinal pin, which is adorable. And I like that. I like that, because that's not an association I think I would make normally. So like hearing about the American folklore background is, is really interesting because cardinals are, maybe not for everyone, they seem very calming to me. There's something very gentle and, and, and sweet about them. And then uh, they also included a uh, scraping sound, a sympathy card, which was very sweet, and it has, has a little bird on it, celebrating a beautiful life. I appreciate this. I'll read the rest of this off, off camera, but I appreciate the sympathy card. Thank you, Anna Crystal. Thank you for everything. This is actually, this is wonderful, and uh, now I have a cowbell to wildly... And a triangle. Oh, man. And uh, it's funny, because Dan's editing this. Um, my first thought, seeing that cowbell, was, man, that would be a really great way to wake someone up. Just flashback to waking up Dan with the guitar, on multiple occasions, actually. Man, how are we still friends? I don't... I'm sorry, Dan. If you're staying He's over gonna here... He's going to have a comment come up and be like, yeah, yeah. me either. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, I won't use this on Dan. I'll wait for someone else. So, so, <laughs> someone else who will immediately be like, we cannot be friends over that. Anyway, um, actually. Yeah, I know what, exactly what you're thinking of, and I had that thought too. We'd made a joke. I don't know if we ever publicly talked about the joke. I, I, I had a dream that we did a bumper where we parodied the uh, the classic uh, SNL sketch um, about uh, Don't Fear the Reaper. And Emil was using the cowbell, which maybe I did talk about it, which is why Anna and Crystal mentioned Emil having the cowbell, but like that, we, we could do the sketch. We have the cowbell. Sorry, I'm slow on the uptake, but I got there. I eventually joined the rest of the group. Anyway, to everyone that sent stuff in, thank you all so much. I sincerely appreciate it. We're currently surrounded by goodies uh, that are edible and goodies that are fun to look at and play with and um, more goodies that I can eat. Uh, and I sincerely appreciate it. If you're watching right now and you'd like to uh, 
learn more about uh, what you can send in, uh, go to the link in the description box below. It'll give you the address, what to send in, what not to send in, etc. And if you're sending in Wii games, it'll also show you a list of all of the games that we are missing. And uh, I'll be stressing this in some of the other mail videos and then also uh, the vlog soon, but September is kind of like the deadline month. September is like, if you if you would like to send in Wii games to assist with finishing Extra Life, September, it, please have them postmarked by September. It would it would help a lot if, if you could do that by then specifically. So if it's been something that you've been waiting on, um, please check the list in the description box and uh, try and have them postmarked by September if you can. And we're gonna try our hardest, gosh darn it, to uh, to finish the game's uh, library completely and have everything ready in time for Extra Life, which is October 24th, 2020. I know people like to know that date ahead of time, so they, a lot of people actually take off work because they spend the whole day with us and uh, enjoy the stream. Yeah, it's getting, it's, Becoming reality. I'm like, yep. oh crap, it's close. It's getting close. Okay, I'm done. Thank you all so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next mail video, which we'll be releasing very, very soon.